Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn. We were recently talking about multifunction grips, but one of the things we didn't touch on was how multifunction grips work with dimensions. That's right. We talked about the notion of multifunction grips and how now you can hover over a grip and AutoCAD will show you the different things you can do when you click on that grip. It's particularly powerful with dimensions. Let me show you. One of the ways that you can edit an object is to simply use its grips. You can use grip editing for modifying the dimensions as well. Since the dimensions behave as a single object, I can click on any grip on a dimension and move or stretch parts of the dimension to new locations. For example, I can select the dimension text grip and move the text anywhere along the dimension line. If I move it below the dimension line, notice that the dimension line moves along with it. Notice that I'm only selecting the dimension text grip, but if I move it down, the extension lines automatically extend as well. I can also select the grip at the end of the dimension line. Then if I drag that grip toward or away from the object, the dimension line moves. If I select the grip at the end of the extension line close to the object that I dimensioned, I can move the extension line away from the object. If you expand the Dimensions panel on the Annotate ribbon, you'll see that there are additional tools. Notice these three buttons. Left Justify, Center Justify, and Right Justify. These tools let you quickly reposition the dimension text along the dimension line. There are also several other tools available on Grip Editing Shortcut Menus. If you hover the cursor over the dimension text, notice that grip editing tools become available for modifying the dimension text position. If your drawing gets crowded, you can move the dimension text away from the dimension line. If you hover the cursor over the grip near the arrow, a different set of grip editing tools become available. For example, notice that you can quickly start the Continue Dimension or Baseline Dimension commands. Also notice that the menu includes a selection called Flip Arrow. The Flip Arrow tool flips the arrowhead at that hover grip from one side of the extension line to the other. If you want to flip the arrow at the other end of the dimension line, move your cursor over the grip at the other end and then choose Flip Arrow from that grip editing shortcut menu. If you want to flip it back, simply hover over the grip and choose the Flip Arrow tool again. 